You want a flat case? Okay. I'll come back with you. Come on. Okay. Do you want to play rough? Okay. Oh, no. Say hello to my little friend! Over the course of the last couple of years, I've been hinting that the exploits of the Fujiwara family are not really related to Tofu. So today, I'll be showing you why Takumu Fujiwara hasn't been really delivering Tofu and your life is a lie. First of all, let's check out the premise. In 1990X, a teenager delivers on a speeding Corolla A86 Tofu to a hotel during the nighttime. His father was a legendary street racer which owns the tofu shop where the tofu comes from. The tofu is delivered in the back of the car as it should and Takumi is being trained not to spill the water so not to spoil the tofu. If you haven't noticed already, the premise is fishy to say the least and smells of sniffable dust. To start, let's get back a little bit in history to the time where prohibition was in vogue in the United States. Back then, bootleggers ran millions of liters of illegal booze from the outskirts of towns and rural areas to the towns where they would be consumed. To run from the coppers, but still having a car that looked inconspicuous enough, moonshiners would soup up their cars to flee when necessary. Still, during the Prohibition, these cars would become a racing pastime between the moonshiners, the Prohibition afterwards ended, and these runners ceased to be necessary. As you know, from this booze running, NASCAR would be created years later. Going back to Takumi Fujiwara, he does seem to have a lot in common with the Moonshiners. It's sad that he's just delivering tofu, and he couldn't be really delivering booze as both are legal in Japan. So let's think a bit. What can he be delivering, late at night, driving fast as hell to a hotel? It has to be illegal, and it has to be drugs. As the Japanese have a lot of social norms and social awareness regarding not to annoy others, it can't be the devil's lettuce, but it will be, most likely, something that is appropriate for a hotel. That is, cocaine. If you still don't believe me and you think this is kind of a stretch, let's have a look at Fujiwari's senior's so-called tofu shop. Have you ever seen more than a couple of customers in a shop through the manga or on the five seasons of anime as well on the movies? If you aren't aware of what I'm implying and what's going on, let me explain. This is called money laundering. Money laundering works this way. The money received by the trade of drugs is transferred into a legitimate business as a means to disguise the origins of the dash. Looking at the context of 1990X and the video evidence or manga evidence, there isn't a cart payment system, so there's no paper trail. So a perfect way to inject illegal funds into a wider economy is a business that only deals with money. If you look back at history once again, that's where the money laundering got its name from, where criminals use the cash-only laundromats to do just that. They use the laundromats as a point of entry to the wider economy of the money that came from illegal sale of drugs and illegal sale of booze. If you are still not convinced and you're saying, but random, you're really full of shit, let's have a look at the Corolla A86, that legendary car. Have you ever seen the boot of it? It's really not that large. It couldn't really deliver that much tofu. But let's say for the sake of the argument that it can deliver 50 kilos of tofu, which is really unlikely as the container that the tofu is on has water. So the container itself is using a lot of volume. At an extreme case of a delivery of 50 kilo of tofu, the value of the tofu doesn't go past the $250 mark, even if the tofu is of high quality. So the revenue from the tofu delivery is quite low on itself. But when you look at the tofu delivery method, it's even worse. Takumi abuses the Corolla a lot, so that's a lot of fuel usage, tardy usage and other mechanical wear and tear. So that eats into the profit margin to a point where it makes no sense to make deliveries whatsoever on that Corolla by delivering tofu alone. Therefore, he has to be delivering other things. Summing it all up, the business profile of the Fujiwara Tofu Shop doesn't make any sense at all. 
the store doesn't have any significant number of customers, the tofu delivery doesn't have any sort of reasonable cash influx due to the opex of driving a car at high speeds. Furthermore, said driving is comparable with running of illegal substances, which it must definitely be cocaine due to the place where it's going to be delivered and the Japanese mindset. My point is made and I believe the evidence is clear, though don't be surprised when I say that Takumi most definitely is breaking one of the rules of drug dealing, which is do not use what you sell. Oh! <laughs>